Welcome, everybody, to tonight's presentation of Lady Patriot Volleyball here on SHN Sports. I'm Wally Harmon alongside Rob Hip For the first broadcast of the season, due to this craziness called COVID-19, we bring you live volleyball here. And tonight, a special one, Rob, the battle at the San Gabriel. Georgetown comes into Eastview tonight for district play in volleyball. And what a rivalry to start district play off for the Lady Patriots as the Georgetown Eagles come in tonight. Well, Wally, excited to have you here all season long for the Eastview Patriots. I'm Rob Hip again alongside Wally Harmon. Wally will be on the call this season for Eastview. And this is our first time tonight broadcasting Eastview Patriot Lady Volleyball here on SHN Sports. A special shout-out to the Booster Club for helping to make this happen this season. A lot of talent out here on the court tonight. A beautiful facility here at Eastview High School. And, Wally, it's good. I'm glad to be back in Georgetown. You know, I spent so much time in Huntsville. We had a Thursday night game with the Hornets, and then I made my way right up to Georgetown this morning. Good to be right beside you, brother, and excited about this one tonight. No rest for the weary as you keep running back and forth in a job that's just being run well here on SHN Sports. And you do a great job being in Huntsville and helping us out here. Georgetown's uh, always going to be my home, though, man. <laughs> and, and we love it. And what a night to start it with as you come back for a Friday night after a Thursday night game there in Huntsville to watch Eastview, the Lady Patriots, take on the Georgetown Lady Eagles in district volleyball. Uh, Lady Patriots have had a couple weeks uh, delay, and they are back on the court tonight. They will be led by the assistant coach. Uh, we'll look at it. And you have to bear with us. Uh, this all came to fruition here in the last 24 hours to get this going uh, on SHN Sports, and we'll be here the rest of the season. Coach Emily Durrell will be leading the Lady Patriots tonight here in the ball game For the, the Georgetown Lady Eagles, we'll go down their roster real quick. They carry an 18 uh, lady roster. Head coach Jenny Richardson and her assistant coach Shelby Good. They have number one, Kayla Jackson, a senior setter. A senior libero defensive specialist, number two, Joanna Ross. A junior middle blocker, number three, Brielle Maxwell. A sophomore defensive specialist, number four, Mallory Ladner. A junior setter, number five, Ellie Eisler. A junior defensive specialist, number six, Sarah Guzman. A senior right side hitter, number seven, Lily Barker. A junior outside hitter, number eight, Riley Golnick. A sophomore outside hitter, number nine, Claire Mitchell. A sophomore defensive specialist, number 10, Alexis Flora. A junior setter, number 11, Annika Flora. A junior outside hitter, Grace Watkins, number 12. A junior middle hitter, number 13, Lauren Cavanaugh. A junior middle blocker, number 14, Emmy Van Der Heiden. A sophomore outside hitter, number 15, Ellie Quiroz. A sophomore outside hitter, number 16, Reagan Forrest. A sophomore setter slash outside hitter, number 17, Kate Stangle. And a sophomore defensive specialist, number 18, Sarah Sanchez. A lot to be grateful for, Rob. Uh, the booster club here at Eastview, the volleyball booster club, stepping in. Uh, and helping out bring this uh, live to fans that can't be here in the, st in the arena. Yeah, you bet, Wally. And a special shout-out tonight for the hospitality. We are up, you know, this broadcast for Eastview, uh, but it is uh, we broadcast both teams tonight just doing one broadcast since it is both Georgetown schools. Uh, but, Wally, again, appreciate the hospitality tonight. Just to let folks know, we're up on the – technically the visitor's side, high up in the stands here at Eastview Patriot Gymnasium. And a little bit of walking every once in a while going in front of us. The camera is set up on the stand. So if it bounces a little bit, that's what's going on. It just means people are excited and we're having a good time, Wally. That's really what it comes down to. Exactly. And you look <laughs> at the setup. Uh, I've been around volleyball several years with my daughter playing. The, the, the bench is set up for the teams. The chairs distanced uh, apart so the players are apart from each other when off the court the players playing in a mask. Uh, at all times, the two referees that we do see, the up ref and the down ref, uh, have their mask on. Uh, the line, the girls on the corners uh, the running the flags, also with mask on. So everything, due diligence being paid to try to be safe with the environment given uh, that, that we're having to deal with right now in, in all sports, especially in this inside the arena, fans distance apart and, and everything going on. Well, Wally, wanted to thank you for being here, your commitment to Eastview. You were lined up to do softball. You got one game in and then COVID hit. And then the opportunity here, of course, to cover volleyball this season and other sports as we go along. 
Uh, Travis Banks and Michael Francis are on the call tonight back in Georgia, well, here in Georgetown for the football game that's going on uh, versus the Elgin Wildcats tonight. Wally, I did want to say real briefly for folks that are out there listening, we'd love to hear from you tonight. If you've got a shout-out, feel free to text them to us, 512 512- 522-9105. Again, that SHN text line is open tonight. If you've got a shout-out for one of these young ladies, let us know, 512-522-9105. Wally? Lady Patriots just finished up their warm-ups and serves. The Lady Eagles on the, the right side of the court. Now, another change here and caveat for volleyball during uh, the COVID-19 time frame. The girls, the teams do not switch sides. Uh, there will be no switching ends of the court because the, seat, the benches are set up and, and they will stay in one area with their bench and the side. So as you look at, the, at your monitor or across the radio, you, you look left to right. The Lady Patriots will be on your left tonight, serving to the right and the Lady Eagles on your right side. As they get to start to introduce, we'll introduce the lineup for the, uh, the roster for the Lady Patriots. Uh, senior outside hitter, number five, McKenna Baylor. A senior setter, number six, Mary Brown. A sophomore defensive specialist, number 15, Vier Cortez. A senior defensive specialist, number four, Amy Diaz. A junior outside hitter, number 11, Gabrielle Ellswick. A junior middle blocker, number seven, Stephanie Irizarry. A junior defensive specialist, number 16, Caitlin Love. A junior defensive specialist, number three, Kristen Maldonado. A junior middle blocker, number 10, Mackenzie Kanza. A senior defensive specialist, number two, Madeline Parsons. A junior defensive specialist, number 14, Cindy Powell. A junior setter, number 13, Hannah Pullen. A senior libero, number one, Kayla White. And a senior outside hitter, right side hitter, number eight, Ellie Woods. The PA announcer giving some information out to the crowds as the teams have lined up on their respective ends. Special shout out to some of the uh, sponsors of the our volleyball uh, booster club. The Kermode, uh, Kermode Outfitters, Reliable Roofing, Elite Realty, Gaddis Law Firm, Lark and Al Booksellers, Mackay Dodge Chrysler Jeep, Ram, Mesquite Creek Outfitters, Skin and Clinical Skin Care, The Parsons Family, Universal Appraisal Services, Allied Electrical Services, American Irrigation Repair, Annie Ann's Pretzels, Austin Fire Protection, BBVA Compass Bank, Capstone Works, Syntex Shirt and Embroidery, Georgetown Pediatric Dentistry, GTX Sports Recovery, Hula Cowgirl Shaved Ice, John F. Lewis PC, Kanga Roofing, Paul Berg, MD, and Amy Friggle, PAC, SNR Roofing, Texas Crush Stone, and the Burnett family. A lot of uh, activity here in the community helping out the booster clubs, allowing the booster club to then help out with SHN Sports presentation of Lady Patriot Volleyball. And, and just uh, what a fun night uh, to get back at one in the booth, calling the games, being around, and just bringing you high school sports and showcasing these kids. Uh, so many changes in and about SHN this year. It's been fun to watch as the focus turns to Georgetown and Eastview and bringing about this community uh, and, and, and spotlighting it while we have other schools on the network, which is so fun to see as I go to Huddle Games and watch my nephews, listening to Georgetown Games, watching them online with SHN Sports. And so just great to see these kids get that kind of uh, attention. We'll send it over now for the playing of our country's national anthem. Eastview Patriot Volleyball continues in a moment.
All right, well, a beautiful playing of our country's national anthem. Wally, excited to be here tonight, man. And, you know, you were talking earlier. I'm just thankful that we're able to be back here. We didn't know it was going to happen this year after COVID. We didn't know if SHN – I'll be honest with you. I didn't know if SHN was going to be able to to kind of ride through this whole COVID wave because even when we're not broadcasting, we have monthly expenses that we have to incur. We had to make a decision to flip the switch on a lot of stuff during this downtime, had to cancel a lot of services that that we have and a lot of things that we do to sustain the business. Uh, But thankfully, things starting to click back on, if you will. You mentioned earlier some new schools joining the network. Excited to have our friends at Rockdale uh, now as part of the SHN family down in Huntsville where I'm at. Appreciate that. But, you know, this, I wanted to say that for a reason. Georgetown is always where our grass is green. And I I, I don't want to say it the wrong way. But you got to take care of your own grass and water it first. And we are always going to take care of Georgetown no matter what. In fact, Carl and I, uh, throughout this whole pandemic, we said, look, we really want to focus more on GISD, not just football, because we do cover Eastview and Georgetown football, but we really want to start integrating more with the entire school district, and that's what we're working on. And so very excited for that, and we're always going to be dedicated first and foremost and take care of our hometown right here in Georgetown, Texas. Absolutely. You can't ask for any more. The fans are here in Georgetown and at Eastview. They love these uh, two schools. They put their time, efforts, energy, and money into these two schools, and these kids put out a product that is just uh, something to be proud of and enjoy. SHN just allowing the platform as well to be there for these other schools to participate. But with that focus being and the energy from us being here for these kids that are Patriots and Lady Patriots and the Eagles and Lady Eagles. They're going through the uh, introduction of all the players here. Now the Lady George, the Georgetown Lady Eagles have been introduced, and now we have the Lady Patriots being introduced. The Lady Patriots tonight, the home team, they will be in the blue tight, white, long sleeve jerseys, accented with navy blue and red, and the libero in a navy blue jersey, white accents. The Georgetown Lady Eagles, it looks like they're going to be in the black tights with the long sleeve jerseys that fade up from black to a beautiful blue. Their numbers are in white with white shoes and looks like all in white knee pads. Wally, we've already got some messages coming in tonight. By the way, if uh, you would like to send us a text, let us know you're out there, who you'd like to give a shout out to. Say your name as well so we know who it is. You can text us at 512 522-9105. Again, that SHN text line is open at 512-522-9105. Had a message just a few moments ago. Not sure who it's from, uh, but just saying, let's go Eastview, let's go Z. So that's our first one of the night. Awesome, and we love to hear it. It's it's fun to to hear from the fans as the two teams approach the 10-foot line, wave at each other, and then here come the cheers as they get ready to go. Uh, They return to their respective huddles. Georgetown Lady Eagles on the right side. Let's go Z. I'm going to try to guess who it is here. I'm guessing it's Stephanie Irizarry. It's the only one I see with a Z in the lineup for the Lady Patriots. But you are welcome to continue text again. We'd love to see it and hear it as we go about the broadcast. All I do ask is be patient with me and with Rob. And Nina Salazar. Okay, hold on. <laughs> and she's not on our roster. I got this straight from the book, so now I've got to add a Nina Salazar. (laughs) Thank you, whoever is sending that to us. I appreciate it. I do not want to miss. If you have her number, send it as well, because I need to mark that down on my page. Nina Salazar. Hey, we're just taking what was handed to us here to get started. Again, we appreciate uh, the hospitality of the Lady Patriot Booster Club tonight, getting us set up, bringing us some waters, and uh, just tremendous group of folks here representing of Patriot Nation and on the Georgetown side we appreciate all that they do as well we also broadcast Georgetown volleyball but tonight of course doing a solo broadcast here for both teams and and a special shout out uh, Karen uh, White and Tara Brown taking care of us getting us set up McKenzie all right McKenzie uh, Conza here we go Georgetown will have the first serve the Lady Eagles on the way Lady Patriots return, the attack from the right side, number seven. Georgetown plays it up and over. Set to the outside, left side. Nice dig by number 15 for the Lady Eagles. Now a back row attack, and it'll be in on the line. What a shot there for the Lady Eagles. Number 12, Grace Watkins with the kill. And the Lady Eagles go up early, one to nothing here in the first set. Serving for the Lady Eagles is number 11, Annika Plora. 
Serve is nice and short. Nice dig there. Set to the left side. And a tip over. Dug up by the Lady Eagles. Back to the right side. Block at the net. Now played by the Lady Patriots. Back to the left side and the attack. Nice save there by number 15. Back to the right side and the kill on the floor. It cannot be dug out. Outside attack there by number seven, I believe. Lily Barker. And it's quickly 2-0 for the Lady Eagles. It's a relatively young Georgetown Lady Eagle team. If you go through, not a whole lot of seniors on this roster here tonight, Wally. Beautiful serve by Annika Plora. Patriots play it over quickly, and now they get the ball back, set to the middle. Shot to the libero, digs it up, and now they attack over, and it's going to be out. The middle hitter for the Lady Eagles tries to put it down on the line, but is out. Side out to the Lady Patriots. And Wally, you know the sport well. Your your daughter played for four years, if Multiple I'm not years mistaken. At, at Gateway High School in Georgetown, uh, Gateway College Prep, and then some club ball with Max uh, Volleyball. And so Lady Patriots return the favor and even the score up 2-2. Two to two. Serving is the libero, Mallory, or correction, the Amy Diaz-Diaz on the roster. The libero in service for the Lady Patriots. Serve is nice, tips the net. Played up by the Lady Eagles. Ball set to the left side. Number seven, Lily Barker tries to hit it, but a block there by number six for the Lady Patriots. Mary Brown gets the block, and the Lady Patriots go up three to two here in the first set. Diaz with the serve, and it's into the net. First service error of the night for the Lady Patriots. And it'll be a side out back to the Lady Eagles, and it'll even up the score three to three. Serving now for the Lady Eagles, number 15, Ellie Quiros. Ball played over, now dug up by the libero, and it's going to be sent over. Free ball for the Lady Patriots. The set in the middle, and Kenzie Konza into the net. Point to the Lady Eagles, 4-3 to three now. Lady Eagles lead it here in the first set. Serve is on the way. Pass up, now the set, McKenzie Conza, and she tips it over right past the 10-foot line. Three Lady Eagles dive, and no one can get to it. So Conza with the point for the Lady Patriots, evens it up, four to four, side out. Lady Patriots will serve. It looks like number six, Mary Brown, will be serving for the Lady Patriots. Ball's over, and... The point for the Patriots as the dig not made up there. The serve-receive error. And the Lady Patriots take the lead, 5-4. Mary Brown, service again. Played by the libero up to the center. Now to the right side, the attack. Libero jumps in front of Brown and off of her hands out. Side out back to the Lady Eagles. 5-5 five, five now your score here in the first set. Substitution for the Lady Eagles. Back to serve will be number six, Sarah Guzman. Puts the ball into play. Pass up front. Now the set to Kanza. Sends it deep. The dig up to the center. Left side attack. Dug by Diaz, the libero for the Lady Patriots. Ball played up. And now a free ball over the net into the hands of the Lady Eagles. And a, an attack by number 12. Grace Watkins is long and out. Side out to the Lady Patriots. Point on the board. 6-5 lead for the Patriots now here in the first set. Serving for the Lady Patriots, number three, Kristen Maldonado. The Lady Eagles can't get it back over the net. And it's a point for the Lady Patriots. Seven to five now here in the first set. Has a nice effort there, Wally, by McKenzie getting up in front of that and putting it right back down. Service over, right side attack. Dug out by Maldonado. Kanza plays it up over the net. Lady Eagles dig it out. And the attempt by Grace Watkins to tip it over the net, goes into the net, and a point for the Lady Patriots. A little run here, eight to five now. The Lady Patriots lead it. I was gonna mention first time tonight, a little bit of separation here for either side of the team in Eastview. A little bit of momentum here. We'll see if they can build on it. Maldonado with the serve, deep middle, played up. Some confusion, but now the ball played over. Free ball for the Lady Patriots. They'll go to the right side for the kill, or the attack, number eight, sends it 
Lady Georgetown Eagles play it back over. Now back to the Patriots. A little tip over to the 10-foot line. Dug up. Setter, quick play. Dumps it over. Number 11, Annika Flora. What a nice play there. Goes on the odd number. Didn't go for that second pass. She went and dinked it over as the setter. And a good play. Breaks the momentum for the Lady Patriots. And the Lady Eagles back in the scores column. Six to eight now with the serve. Sent over, right side. Little tip over by number eight. Ellie Woods, a nice play right down the net. Puts it in for a side out. Point to the Lady Patriots, nine to six now. The Lady Patriots by three. The serve by number 10. Kenzie Kanza serves. The attack dug up by the Patriots, now back over. D attack dug out by the Lady Eagles. Back and forth we go, and then the hit, out. Lily Barker sends it long and out. And that'll bring about a timeout by Coach Jenny Richardson of the Lady Eagles. Take a quick timeout. Be back with more to Lady Patriot Volleyball here on SHN Sports. Welcome back to SHN Sports presentation of Lady Patriot Volleyball. Wally Harmon along with Rob Hip tonight. We've got the pleasure of having the man, the myth, the legend in the house tonight on the call. Rob Hip in town for the weekend. Great to see you, Rob. I know you're staying so busy with Huntsville and back and forth running SHN and HRN Radio. And so just appreciate the opportunity. 10 to 6, Lady Patriots lead it in the first set. Kenzie Kanza sends it over short, dug up into the net. Nice play there by the Lady Eagles. They get it, recover. Back over to the Patriots, right side, attack, sent over, dug up by the Lady Eagles. They attack, send it back over, Patriots dig it up, and here they come, tip over the net, dug up. Now sent over, back and forth, play at the net, and it's gonna be a mistake on the Lady Patriots. It sides out to the Lady Eagles, and they'll cut that lead now to three, 10 to seven. I love to look at volleyball. You see the transition of timeouts when they're called to see the momentum switch back and forth. Service by the Lady Eagles. The attack by the Patriots. Blocked and it can't get it back up. Double hit by Calder on Stephanie Irizarry. And that'll cut the lead now to two. 10 to eight. Lady Patriots lead it by two here in the first set. Serve on the way from the Lady Eagles. Played up. The attack from the right side. Nice and deep. Dug up by the Eagles. And here comes the attack. Dug up by the libero. Save it, and another attack back to the Lady Eagles. They'll play it left side. Sends it deep, dug up, passed up to the center. Number six sends it over in the middle. Nice play by the Lady Eagles. Now they'll attack in the middle. Ball dug up. Nice dig there by the libero Diaz. And the center, Annika Flora, tries to play it back over. It's red this time. Patriots back over to the Lady Eagles. Back to the Lady Patriots. Here it comes. Now attack from the left side. Sent over, dig up. Nice save by number six. They'll try to make the play. It'll be four hits on the Lady Eagles. What a back and forth play there. And that'll increase the score for the Lady Patriots. 11 to eight now. Well, I wanted to say Diaz, man, she has just been extra. You look at a young player out here and how she's played so far in this game. Boy, what momentum she has brought here to this Eastview Lady Patriot team. They've led by as many as four tonight. L Libero all over the court making several plays early on for the Lady Patriots. And here comes the attack left side. She'll tip it over, dug up, now sent deep by the setter. Now back to the Patriots, over to Georgetown. Georgetown passes it up. Now it'll be a back row attack. And a miss hit there by Lily Barker. And be another point for the Lady Patriots, 12 to eight. Back to a four point lead, the largest lead we've seen here in the first set for either team. The service by number two, Madeline Parsons. And it is out, another service error for the Lady Patriots, their second of the ball game. 12 to nine now on the side out. The libero for 
The Lady Eagles will serve here, puts it in play, off the net, gets the kind bounce. Number two, Joanna Ross, uses the net to her advantage and the point there on the ace, 10-12. Lady Eagles trail by two here in the first set. Another serve over, and a nice play by the setter, Mary Brown. Second hit, she puts it over quickly. It can't be played by the Lady Eagles. Side out to the Lady Patriots, 13-10 your score here in the first set. Ellswick coming in, I believe, maybe for the first time tonight. Wally, a little substitution there for the Lady Patriots. Number one, Kayla White serves, and her serve is out. So another service error for the Lady Patriots. Side out to the Lady Eagles, 11-13. to 13. The Lady Eagles trail by two. Serve will be here by Annika Flora. Number 11 sends it in. Ball played up, nice save there. They'll play it over. Georgetown rallies it back over. Now the left side attack and down the line. What a kill there by number 11. Gabrielle Ellswick, she comes in and makes a play early on for the Lady Patriots. Nice kill down the line. And here's Diaz the libero for the serve. Back over and Ellswick tries to make another play on the errant ball. Pass from the Lady Eagles and she hits it out. Side out back to the Lady Eagles. 14-12, Lady Patriots lead it here in the first set. Now set to serve, number 15 for the Lady Eagles. Ellie Quiroz, Lady Patriots sent a free ball back over and here come the Lady Eagles. Tip over, played up, now Quinn Kanza sends it back over. Back to Lady Eagles, a little tip over, ball played up. Set up to the right side and the attack. Nice dig there by the Lady Eagles. Play over and off the Lady Patriots. So Georgetown cuts it now back to a one point deficit, 14-13. The Lady Patriots lead it. Ellie Quiros will serve here. Again, her second serve in a row. Played up by the Lady Patriots. Kanza tips it over to the right side. Dug up by the Eagles. Kill from the right side is good. After a couple of Lady Patriots tipped it around, couldn't get it back up to play. And that ties up the score. The first time we've seen it since 2-2 early on. We've had a tie ball game here in the first set. Got a little bit of a momentum switch back. Eastview's led by as many as four. And as Wally said, we're tied back up. And momentarily. And momentarily, <laughs> and then the side out on the service error for Georgetown. Mary Brown now back to serve for the Lady Patriots with the one-point lead. Off the net and down. She gets the kind bounce from the net for the ace. Mary Brown and another point for the Lady Patriots, 16-14. Brown sets up to serve and serves it a little deeper this time. Played up by the Eagles. The attack on the right side and a monster kill. Oh. Lily Barker My lined goodness. it up. A little bit of fire behind that ball on that one. Nice kill there. She had a couple of miss hits early on in the mat on this set. She had no miss hit there. What a kill by Mary Barker. Lily Barker. And the side out back to Lady George, the Lady Eagles of Georgetown. Number six, Sarah Guzman serves. Patriots play it. Kanza gets it over. Free ball for the Lady Eagles. And here comes Barker again for the attack. No good. But a tip back and the error. Now lots of play back and forth. Wow, what an effort by both teams. And now the Lady Eagles will set it up and make it another attempt. The attack by Barker. Dug up by Diaz of Eastview. Now the left side attack. No good. Dug up by the Lady Eagles. Right side attack. And nice down the line. Number 12, Grace Watkins with the kill. Diaz dove to her right, tried to get a hand on it, but to no avail. And the ball back over, stays with Georgetown here, and an even score again, 16-16. First sec, uh, set as Sarah Guzman sets to serve again for the Lady Eagles. Serve sent over, and the Patriots as Kanza sends it a little deep past the 10-foot line, played up. And now Watkins hits it deep right between the left defensive per person number one Kayla White was back there with Diaz and the ball went right between them and that draws a timeout we'll take it with them 17-16 Georgetown now leads it here in the first set of Lady Patriot uh, Volleyball on SHN Sports
Welcome back to SHN Sports presentation of Lady Patriot Volleyball. Here tonight in the Battle of the San Gabriel, the Lady Patriots hosting the Lady Eagles of Georgetown High School here on the Eastview High School campus. Wally Harmon along with Rob Hip. Rob, the, the, the shift in momentum. I, I keep marking it down when timeouts are called. Eastview calls one now to try to slow down this, this swing back to the Lady Eagles. Service by Guzman again. And here come the Lady Patriots. They send the ball back over, played up by the Lady Eagles. Watkins on the outside attack. She sends it deep and gets the point. Kind of scary, Rob. You look at it here in the last few points. Watkins and Barker for the Lady Eagles finding their, their, their run here. Starting to hit the ball real well for the Lady Eagles. Yeah, Barker, we saw her put some fire behind one earlier and now here again. And you're just placing that right where it needs to go, just out of the reach. We'll see if Georgetown can continue their momentum. 18-16, the Eagles... Lead here in the first set. Guzman serves it. Patriots back over. And Barker with the kill. The right side attack from Lily Barker. And, boy, she sent it cross court. And not going to be caught there by the Lady Patriots. And another point for the Lady Eagles. 19-16 now. Got to be careful. May put a little dent in the wood down oh. there with how hard she's hitting those tonight. Lily, Lily Barker <laughs> just get, finding that rhythm. Guzman serves again. Lady Patriots play it up to the center. Out to the left side, shot across, dug up by Watkins. Set back to her, she'll attack, and a nice dig for the Lady Patriots. It'll be tipped back over, and it finds the hole right between the net and the 10-foot line. Nice play there by number eight, Ellie Woods, and that breaks a momentum side out to the Lady Patriots. That'll bring Kristen Maldonado into the ballgame to serve for the Lady Patriots, 17-19. The Lady Eagles lead it by two. Served by Maldonado. Deep hit by Watkins, a little too deep. Out and the point to the Lady Patriots. Cut the lead down to one now. Lady Patriots 18, Lady Eagles of Georgetown 19. Maldonado ready to serve, middle of the court, sends it deep. Watkins sets it up. Now to the outside, Lily Barker with the attack. The dig, but into the net, and they can't play it. Lily Barker finding her rhythm. Gets the side out for the Lady Eagles, 20 to 18. The Lady Eagles lead it by two. Now Lily Barker back to the service line. She'll serve from the far right side, off the net, but played by the Patriots. To the right side, it'll be tipped over. Lady Eagles set to play it. They set it up, send it. Diaz with a nice dig in the back row. Send it over now, Maldonado. Lady Eagles played it back. Serve sent, or hit sent back over. Lots of back and forth here. Now a tip, played well by Barker, setter outside. Watkins attacks, and off the block, and for the point, side out. Or, or they keep the point, ah, I'm sorry, they keep the ball there as Lily Barker had to serve. Now a three-point lead for the Lady Eagles. 21-18 here in the first set. Lily Barker set to serve from the far side. Sends it deep, played up by Maldonado. Set, Kanza attacks, so throw, sends it deep. And out, so the attack error, that's gonna draw another timeout from Eastview, 22 to 18. And so it went from 17-16 Georgetown to now 22 to 18 Georgetown. So another timeout burnt here by the Lady uh, Patriots. Well, Wally, a lot of folks making this one possible this year. We'll thank the double platinum sponsors, Komoot Outfitters, also Reliable Roofing, the platinum sponsors this season for Lady Patriot Volleyball, E-Lit Realty. Gaddis Law Firm, Larkin Owl Booksellers, Mack Hike, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram, got that great Mack Hike feeling. Mesquite Creek Outfitters, Skin and Clinical Skin and Clinical Skin Care, the Parsons Family, and Universal Appraisal Services. Thank you, sponsors. We appreciate your generosity and support of Eastview Lady Patriot Volleyball. The Lady Patriots cannot continue to let Barker and Watkins get their stride. The big hitters early on here for the Lady Eagles. Two timeouts spent in a short amount of time here in the first set by the Lady Patriots. 22 to 18, the Lady Eagles lead the first set by four as Lily Barker readies for the serve for the Lady Eagles. She gets the call from the coach and sends it deep. Played up by the Patriots, set up to the right side and the attack off the tip, saved there. And played over with the free ball. Back to the Lady Patriots. Kanza goes for the kill. Up off the block. Saved again. Dug up. Now the Lady Eagles send another free ball. Great play, but they want the attack. Kanza. And a violation called on the Lady Eagles. 
going to go through my book. The different signals they gave, it's hard to see from up here what they called. Looked like an illegal hit, but it results in a service error by Kanza. And so the Lady Patriots give it right back. Lady Eagles with the side out. Get the ball back, 23 to 19. Now the Lady Eagles lead it here in the first set, two points away from the set. Jump serve off the tip of the net. Diaz can't get to it as it kills it. Watkins with a good serve there, uses the net to her advantage. And now it's gonna be set point here for the Lady Eagles, 24 to 19. Watkins with the serve, middle of the court, the jump serve on the way into the net. Service error for Watkins. Gives the ball back on the side out to the Lady Patriots. That'll bring in number seven off the bench, Stephanie Irizarry. She'll serve from the near side for the Lady Patriots. Down by four, 24-20. Irizarry sends it over short, try to dig it up. And they can't do it as two hits and send it back. And that'll be a point for the Lady Patriots, and that draws a timeout from the Lady Eagles. They want to kill that momentum as they sit at 24. And so we take a timeout, 24-21, here in the first set. Well, thanks some more sponsors tonight, the gold sponsors of Lady Patriot Volleyball, Allied Electric Services Incorporated, American Irrigation Repair, Andy Ann's Pretzels, Austin Fire Protection, BBVA Compass Bank, Capstone Works, Syntex Shirt and Embroidery, Georgetown Pediatric Dentistry, also our friends at GTX Sports Recovery, Hula Cowgirls Shaved Ice, John F. Lewis PC, Kanga Roofing, Paul Berg, Medical Doctor, and Amy Friggle. SNR Roofing, Texas Crushstone, and the Burnett family. Thank you for your generous support of Lady Patriot Volleyball here on SHN Sports and, and more importantly for these sponsors supporting this team all season long and what they do. Thank you so much. Out of the timeout, 24-21. The Lady Eagles lead the Lady Patriots here in the first set. Irizarry serves the ball deep into the back row for the Lady Eagles. Dug up by Diaz off the net, played up. Nice save there. But back over to the Lady Patriots on the free ball. The setter puts it up right side or left side. Tipped down the line and it's out. The hitting error. And that's going to give the first set to the Lady Eagles. 25 to 21. The Lady Eagles take set one. We'll take a timeout as they take a break here in between sets and be back with the second set here in the Battle of the San Gabriel between the Lady Patriots and the Lady Eagles. Welcome back to SHN Sports and presentation of Lady Patriot Volleyball. 
I'm Wally Harmon along with Rob Hip, the Lady Patriots welcoming in crosstown rival, the Georgetown Lady Eagles. For tonight's uh, district volleyball battle, first set goes to the Lady Eagles of Georgetown. One nothing, they lead this match. They come out of the break between the first and second set. The Lady Patriots will serve here. Like we stated earlier, both teams will stay on the same side given this uh, these times of the COVID-19 pandemic. Patriots serve the ball. Right side attack for the Lady Eagles dug up. Now the left side attack for the Patriots blocked, dug up again. But they're going to call it here. Four hits. They did not call a block. They sent it into the net. So the first point side out goes to the Lady Eagles. They take the quick 1-0 lead. On the serve will be Watkins for the Lady Eagles, I believe. Nope, it's going to be number 15, Queros. She'll send it over. Right side attack from the Lady Patriots played up. And now the right side attack by Lily Barker, and she hammers it home. Lily Barker getting her stride nice and plentiful right now. I tell you what, she's hitting the ball real well, Rob. She made a big difference there late in that first set and starts it off quick in the second. Yeah, she had to contribute a lot to that separation early on, and we'll see if the Lady Pats here, they'll find some momentum. Service comes back across, two to nothing. Lady Eagles lead this second set. The right side attack, the tip over, nice dig there by Barker, played from the right side, dug up by Diaz. Set to the far side, it's gonna be called a two a touch, a double touch there on Brown, uh, Ellie Woods there on the set. I'm sorry, not Ellie Woods, correction, Mary Brown on the set. Turnover for the Lady Patriots, three to nothing. The Lady Eagles lead it. this set here. Serve again by Quiros. Diaz digs it up, played back in. She'll try to save it, but the pass was awry. Lady Patriots can't get it over the net, and the error causes another point for the Lady Eagles, four to nothing. Wally, I wanted to mention, though, just the effort of Diaz. I know that right there, not able to complete that one, but again, the effort tonight from that young lady for the Lady Patriots. She has been out there trying to do what she can and giving her a lot of credit for her efforts out there tonight. Lots of hustle. You see her all over the back row uh, making plays for the Lady Patriots. Service comes over. It's passed up to the front. The set to the right side. The attack into the net. Stephanie Irizarry can't get it over the net. And now it's 5 nothing. Lady Eagles lead it here in set number two. From the middle comes the serve from the Lady Eagles. Sends it deep. Diaz plays it up to the center, to the far left side. Tipped over, blocked. Trying to dig it for the Lady Patriots, but out of play. And another point and a quick timeout here early in the second set for the Lady Patriots as they trail six to nothing. Quick timeout here on SHN Sports. We'll be back with more Lady Patriot volleyball here in one minute. Welcome back to SHN Sports coverage of Lady Patriot Volleyball here in Eastview in Georgetown, Texas. The Battle of the San Gabriel not starting out too well here in the second set for the Lady Patriots. They find themselves down by six early to the Lady Eagles of Georgetown. The momentum of the timeouts in volleyball, a key component to trying to break momentum. We saw the game uh, of timeouts played in the first set, and you see it here early on, Coach. Durrell having to use a timeout early to try to break this Lady Eagle momentum. Service coming from the middle, from the Lady Eagles. She'll send it short, played up, but over the net. Free ball for the Lady Eagles. Barker for the kill. Diaz can't get it up. She knocks it out of play. Another kill for Lily Barker and the Lady Eagles, and that makes it 7-0 here in the second set. The Lady Eagles of Georgetown lead the match one set to none. Here early on. Serve nice and deep. And another error for the Lady Eagle, or Patriots. Gabrielle Ellswick unable to take the errant pass and get it over the net. She had to play it over her shoulder and try to cut it back over the net, unable to do so. Eight to nothing, the Lady Eagles lead it here in the second set. 
Serve comes back over, short, played up, nice pass. The set to the far side, left side. The attack dug up by the Lady Eagles. A nice block there by the Lady Patriots and another attack and a block again. Give credit there to Mary Brown and Stephanie Irizarry as Watkins tried to attack from the left side for the Lady Eagles. They get the block and the side out. Eight to one now. The Lady Eagles lead it by seven. Diaz the libero in the service spot for the Lady Patriots. Sends it over, dug up. And here come the Lady Eagles from the right side. Watkins tries to send it, but hits it a little long. Called out by the lines person. And that'll give the point to the Lady Patriots. Cuts the lead to six, eight to two. Diaz with the serve, deep to the libero, Ross. Lady Eagles attack right side. Barker hits it off the block, played up. Now the tip over by Brown. The Lady Eagles scramble, get the ball back. Barker attacks again, dug by Diaz. Sent over to the far side. From the left side attack is Irizarry. She sends it into the middle, and it can't be dug up. A nice run here now for the Lady Patriots. They cut the lead to five, eight to three. Well, again, that all started with Diaz down there with that nice dig moment to go and giving her team an opportunity to try to climb their way back in here on the second set. Her fourth serve in a row, dug up deep by Ross. Set over, Barker tips it over. It's played up. Diaz tries to save the miss hit from the front row, unable to do so. Side out, Lady Eagles. They lead it nine to three now. As substitute comes into the ball game. Sarah Guzman into the ball game for the Lady Eagles. She'll serve, sets up in the middle. She'll send it over, just over the net. Dug up by Diaz, played in. And now here comes the ball, free ball, sent over to the Lady Eagles. They'll attack from the right side. Watkins sits it down the line, dug up. And now to the left side for the Patriots, tip over. Nice dig by the Lady Eagles. Over to Barker on the right side, she attacks. And hits it short right in front of Madeline Parson. She's able to get the dig. And the point for the Lady Eagles, 10 to three, lead it by seven here in set number two. Guzman ready for the serve, sends it over the net short, dug up by Diaz. Now the set, right side attack, and into the net is Irizarry with the hitting error. And another point for the Lady Eagles, 11 to three now here in set number two. Or Ellswick, sorry, Irizarry did not hit that. That was Ellswick. Service by Guzman, played up, and now the Lady Eagles, Patriots send it over. Lots of effort going, but two Eagles. <laughs> Parker tried to get around her teammate, number 11, Annika Flora, and ends up falling into the net. So the side out, back to the Lady Patriots. And the score now cut to seven, 11 to four. Mary Brown back to serve for the Lady Patriots. Nice serve over the net, dug up. Here on the left side is the attack by Watkins. Nice dig there by Kayla White. The attack from the left side. What a play by the Lady Eagles if they can do it and they get it over the free ball. Lady Patriots will play it quickly. Right side and the tip over. Play it again, now the tip back. Lady Eagles try to set it up. Attack from the left side, Watkins. The kill off the block and out of bounds. Ellie Woods tried to block the kill by Watkins, but it went off of her out of bounds. Point side out to the Lady Eagles, 12 to two. They lead it by eight here in the second set. Lily Barker back to serve for the Lady Eagles, and it'll be a service error for the Lady Eagles. And a side out to the Lady Patriots, 12 to five. Now your score. And that'll send to Kristen Maldonado Back to serve for the Lady Patriots, trailing by seven, five to 12. Annika Flora tries to play a, a, a sneaky little back set there over the net. The Lady Patriots couldn't respond out of bounds. 13 to five now on the side out to the Lady Eagles. They lead it by eight. Service by Watkins into the middle of the court, played up by the Lady Patriots, right side attack. Dug up there by Barker. Left side, here comes Quiros, sends it in, dug up, and now the Lady Patriots attack. Block at the net, Lady Patriots play it again. Now to the right side, but the set a little bit too close to the net, and Ellie Woods couldn't get to it and make a play, and that'll draw a timeout by Coach Durrell of the Lady Patriots as they trail 14 to five here in the second set. Trying to cut this Georgetown momentum. They lead by nine, the largest lead we've seen in either set tonight for the either team. Wally, quick score update over on the football side of things. The Eastview Patriots here at home tonight at 
Berkelbach leading Elgin right now in the first quarter, 7-6. to six. Eastview with the ball again with that one-point advantage, 7-6 to six over the Wildcats of Elgin, Texas tonight. That's your football update here, keeping the Eastview Patriot football fans up to date. That game also on SHN Sports. Travis Banks, Michael Francis on the call there for the uh, Patriots. Fourteen to five. The Lady George, Georgetown Lady Eagles lead set number two, and they also have a one set lead here in tonight's match. Both timeouts now have been used here in the second set by the Lady Patriots, and so they're hoping they can get a momentum change and try to get back in to this set. Nice serve by Watkins. Attack from the left side. Number one, Kayla White with the kill for the Lady Patriots. Gets the side out and gets the point. 14 to six now. Six serving 14 for the Lady Patriots. Kanza sets back up to serve on the far side. She'll send it deep. Played up. Now the set in the back row kill attack. Lily Parker gets it just over the net. Oh, there's the call right there. Ball stays with the Patriots. A call made as the block at the net. Uh, they looks like they played the ball before the ball broke the plane. So the Lady Patriots get the ball back and a point, seven to fourteen now. As Kanza serves it into the middle, played up by Barker. Outside attack. Now the block, and here come the Lady Patriots to play it. Quick set in the middle, played over. Nice dig by Guzman. The left side attack from the Lady Eagles, dug up by Maldonado, sent to the right side. Kayla White digs it, nice play there to save it for the Lady Eagles. Back over, free ball, played up, set there by Brown. Nice attack, sent back over. Now Lady Patriots get the ball. They'll set it up, now kill in the middle. From the lefty, it looked like number seven, Stephanie Irizarry got the kill. Nice play there on the set to the middle. Break the scoring up again. And you know, halfway through all of that, wanted to give a shout out. Uh, Eli Woods down there had that block to really keep things going for her team. So great effort there about halfway through. That was a long set. Free ball comes over from the Lady Eagles. Patriots set it up, send it deep on a free ball. Now here come the Lady Pat or Eagles attacking. They can't out the block. Who is the block by? I believe by number eight. Is that going to be Eli Woods again? Yeah, I believe so. She uh, she had it halfway through that other one, and then here on this one with her teammate next to her, another great play. 9-14 to 14 now. Kanza sends it over, and here come the Lady Eagles. Send it over. Kanza digs it. Nice play there to keep it alive. Kayla White attacks. Here come the Lady Eagles. They'll play it up. Out to the right side. Lily Barker sends it, but dug by Kanza. Nice play. Now the attack for the Patriots, and they get it. It went off of two Eagles and onto the floor. And now the momentum shifting for the Lady Patriots. The timeout came at 5-14 to and a five-point run for the Lady Patriots. It's cut the score now, 10-14, to and a couple of subs are a substitution off the bench for the Lady Eagles now to try to change things up. Well, Kahn's are there helping to get that one going, and Lady Patriots, I believe, were trailing by as many as eight. It was 8-0, and now, as you mentioned earlier, this run here only trailing by four now, 14-10. Here in this second set, trailing Georgetown 1-0 on the sets so far tonight. At the last time out by Coach Durrell, 14-5, a nine-point lead for the Lady uh, Eagles has now been cut to four. A nice run here. And now you see Reagan Forrest, the substitute in, a sophomore outside hitter, comes into the ball game for the Lady Eagles. Kanza serving from the back line uh, for, for the Lady Patriots on a roll. Serves it again, nice and deep. Dug up by Guzman, Lady Eagles will attack from the left side. They send it, far corner, and that's the new substitution in. Reagan Forrest gets the kill. She sent it to the far left corner and put it on the line for the point. Side out to the Lady Eagles, and they take the lead back by five, 15 to 10. Ross, the libero for the Eagles, serves it over. Dug up by the Lady Patriots, set up to the right side, and the kill, or the attack, dug up. Nice play by Ross, the libero. Free ball over to the Lady Patriots, and here come, set up to the right side again, the left-handed attack by Irizarry. What an attack there. She Right into the middle of the floor, it couldn't be dug up by the Lady Eagles. Side out to the Lady Patriots. 
and cut the score back to four. 11-15, the Lady Patriots trail into the ball game comes number two, Madeline Parsons. She'll serve it. Here come the Lady Eagles with the attack dug up by Maldonado. Free ball sent over. Lily Barker plays it up. Right side attack dug up again now by Parsons to, for the set and the attack dug up by the libero Ross. Back row attack from the Lady Eagles, dug up nicely. Now the middle attack, but played off the block. Nice play there, but couldn't get it over the net. And a side out back to Georgetown, 16 to 11. The Lady Eagles lead it by five. Number 11, Annika Flora serves for the Lady Eagles. Little jump serve, sends it just over the net. And it's gonna be a violation out of, it looks like the Lady Patriots are out of rotation. So they're trying to figure it out, talking to the referees. So the point goes to Georgetown, 17-11. And now the serve comes again from Flora. Attacked by the Patriots, dug up by the libero Ross. Now Forrest sends one deep. Maldonado can't dig it up. I tell you what, Rob, the sophomore, Reagan Forrest has come in and had two kills right away for the Lady Eagles as they find themselves up now by seven, 18 to 11. Flora sends it over, passed up to the front, now played. Cut shot, nice shot there by Kayla White. And now here comes into the ball game, number 11, Gabrielle Ellswick for the Lady Patriots as they get the side out. 12 to 18 now, Lady Patriots trail by six. Serves in over, nice and short, dug up there. Here comes Lily Barker from the left side, but into the net for the hitting error. And the Lady Patriots get the point. Kayla White serving for the Lady Patriots, down by five, 13, 18. And that'll bring a timeout from Coach Jenny Richardson of Georgetown. Their first time out of the second set as the Lady Patriots have cut this lead down to five, 13 to 18 here in set number two. We'll go ahead and take a moment to thank some of our generous sponsors this season for helping to make Eastview Lady at Patriot Volleyball possible. The double platinum sponsors, Komodi Outfitters. Appreciate them. Reliable Roofing. The platinum sponsors, Elit Realty, Gaddis Law Firm, Larkin Owl Booksellers, Mack Hike, Dodge, Chrysler, ja Jeep, and Ram, Mesquite Creek Outfitters, Skin and Clinical Skin Care, the Parsons family, and Universal Appraisal Services. Thank you again for your generous support of Lady Eagle, or Lady Patriot Volleyball. And we, gotta we got to give a we got, it's, We're in Georgetown tonight, so see, we got Lady Eagles, we got Lady Patriots, but these, these folks are helping to support Lady uh, the Lady Patriots here, so thank you for that. And a great shout-out shout out to the, the Patriot Volleyball uh, Booster Club, uh, doing everything to help us out and to allow SHN Sports to be here to promote these student athletes here in Georgetown. We're on the campus of Eastview High School, the Patriots. The Lady Patriots trail here in set number two, 13-18. As Kayla White sends it deep, the Lady Eagles on the attack. Hannah, uh, let's see, Reagan Forrest has the hitting error, hits it deep. That'll be a point to the Lady Patriots. Nice serve by Kayla White just over the net. And Lily Parker attacks from the left side this time. And the kill, deep left corner. And that gives the side out back to the Lady Eagles. 19-14, the Lady Eagles lead it by five. As the ball's tracked down, it slowly rolled back under the net <laughs> by the Lady Patriots. Now we've got Reagan Forrest, her serve from the back. Comes across, Diaz plays it up to the center. Left side attack, tipped over by the Lady Patriots, now played back over, but it's played a little bit too long into the antenna, and that'll be out of bounds. Side out to the Lady Patriots. Four-point lead now, 15, serving 19, as Diaz the libero sets to serve for the Lady Patriots. Sends it nice and deep, but too deep. It's out, and side out back to the Lady Eagles, 20 to 15. The Lady Eagles lead it here in set number two. That'll bring in number six, Sarah Guzman back into the ball game off the bench. 
She'll serve for the Lady Eagles. Sends it over. Played up. Now the set to Kanza. She tips it over. Lady Eagles ready. An attack from the left side. Watkins, but into the net. The hitting error there. Gives the side out back to the Lady Patriots. Cuts it back to four. Eli Woods back into the ball game, replacing Madeline Parsons. Woods to the front row. Service now by Mary Brown. The Lady Patriots sends it middle of the court. Right side attack by Barker. Gets some help from the net. Not an allow Mary Brown to get that dig as it came off the net and fell short. And a side out back over to the Lady Eagles. 21-16. The Lady Eagles lead set number two by five. They also lead it one set to none here in the match. Barker for the serve. Sends it into the middle. Played up from the right side. The attack blocked but dug up. And the Lady Eagles ready. Back row attack from Barker. Dug up. Serve sent over, or set sent over the right side. Tipped over, now the Lady Eagles ready. Watkins from the left side, off the block and in for the Lady Eagles. Give the kill to Watkins there, and the nice attack from the left side. And a six point lead again for the Lady Eagles, 22-16. Lily Barker ready on the right, or the far left side. Far right side, serves it deep. Kanza plays it, off the block, dug up by Barker. Left side attack by Watkins, ball played up. Chased down there by Kayla White, but Diaz unable to get it over. They call it a double. And so the hitting error there for the Lady Patriots gives it back to the Eagles, 23 to 16. Georgetown leads it by seven. Barker serves it over, dug up. Left side attack, set. And a long. Wood sends it a little too deep. Thought we got a tip at the net, but it was out. And now set point for the Lady Eagles. Lily Barker on a run here for the Lady Eagles. 24-16. Sends it over. Ball played up. And the set to the far left side. Woods down the line, but dug up by Barker, but into the net. Side out to the Lady Patriots. Nice play there by Woods as she sent it down the far line. And Barker just couldn't get the hit controlled, or that pass controlled. Maldonado comes in. Subs back into the game, and she'll serve now. 17, serving 24. Lady Patriots have to go on a run here to stay in this set. Watkins on the outside attack, off the block, and in. That's going to be a second set win for the Lady Eagles. They're going to lead it two to nothing. Here in tonight's match, and so now a crucial third set coming up for the Lady Patriots. We'll take a timeout, come back for the third set between the Lady Patriots and the Lady Eagles here in the Battle of the San Gabriel tonight on SHN Sports.
Welcome back to SHN Sports broadcast of Lady Patriot Volleyball here on East View campus tonight for the home match against the Crosstown rivals, the Georgetown Lady Eagles. We start the third set. The Lady Eagles have taken set one and set number two. The first set, the Lady Eagles won it 25 to 21. Set number two, 25-17. The way of the Lady Eagles as well. So the Lady Patriots with work to do here as they face off with an ever important set. One to avoid the sweep, two to stay into this match. The Lady Eagles serving to open the third set. It will be number 11, Annika Flora, who will serve for the Lady Eagles. Flora ready from the middle of the court. The jump serve up and over. Passed up, and now the attack from the left side. Blocked, but dug up by the Lady Patriots. Right side, the attack into the net. Here, Azari hits it into the net. And point for the Lady Eagles. One to nothing here in the third set. Annika Flora ready in the middle. And the little jump serve floats it deep into the middle. Played up, and a nice play by Mary Brown there. She tries to, a little dink from the center position on the second ball, and a lift called on the Lady Eagles. Side out, point to the Lady Patriots, and that'll bring up Diaz the libero, serving one to one here in the third set. Diaz serves it nice and deep to the left side. Passed up, and the attack by the Lady Eagles, dug up, and now the attack middle to Kanza. Dug up by Ross the libero. Right side, Lily Barker blocked at the net. Tip played on. Lady Patriots recover. They'll play it into play. Watkins digs it up. The pass now for the middle. The tip over. Dug up again. Lady Patriots now to the far left side. The ball's tried to send it over. Gabrielle Ellswick was kind of on her heels backing up. Ball sent a little bit over her head. Hits it into the net. Side out to the Lady Eagles. Two to one. Eagles lead it by one. Serve put into play, passed up to the center. And a quick ball there by Mary Brown. What a play for the Lady Patriots. The left-handed dink over quick. Hit by the center. What a great play by Mary Brown. That evens up the match at two to two. Side out to the Lady Patriots. Eli Woods into the ball game for the Lady Patriots on the front row. What a serve by Mary Brown, the ace off of the Lady Eagle on the far side. Nice hard serve there by Mary Brown and the Patriots turning it around here in set number three. They take a quick lead, three to two. Mary Brown sends it back over again, dug up. Watkins will attack left side, dug up. Nice pass, Kanza attacks from the middle. But a point goes to Georgetown, side out to the Lady Eagles. Sarah Guzman subs into the ball game. Into the match for the Lady Eagles. She'll serve now. Three to three the score here in set number three. Ball played up. Quick set. Kanza over. Dug up. Over the net. Back to the Lady Patriots. Brown saves it. Here comes Diaz. What a ball by Diaz. Quick play there for the Lady Eagles. Recover. Free ball sent over. Lady Patriots attack. And Kanza with the kill. There she goes. She got that one from the middle. Hits it to the back left corner. And nothing there for the Lady Eagles and the Lady Patriots take a one point lead, four to three. Side out Lady Patriots, they have the ball. Played over, served by Ellswick. Lily Barker attacks for the Lady Eagles. What a kill for Barker that right side. She evens it up on the scoreboard. Four to four here in the third set. Side out, Lady Eagles get the ball back. Now Barker backs up to the back row. And she'll serve for the Lady Eagles. What a kill there by Lily Barker. Serve sent over, played up. It'll be to the far side. Left side attack, dug up by Guzman. Played up, right side attack for the Lady Eagles by Watkins. Diaz saves it. Now a free ball sent over. Nice play there by Woods to get it over the net. And the double there by Annika Flora. Tries to set it far side to Watkins. But they call the double hit. Side out to the Lady Patriots, and the Lady Patriots take a one-point lead, five to four. Irizarry back in on the front line. Kanza serves from the back row. 
Nice and short. Barker can't get to it off of her out of bounds. And another point here for the Lady Patriots. Six to four early on in set number three. Two set to nothing lead for the Lady Eagles. Kanza serves it nice and deep, played up, but out. Two passes trying to recover there for the Lady Eagles, but out of bounds and the point to the Lady Patriots. Seven to four here in the third set. Kanza with two good serves right away. And a substitution quickly for the Lady Eagles. Kanza now with a service error, a little bit short there, a little miss hit as she puts it into the net. That gives a side up to the Lady Eagles, seven to five. The Lady Patriots lead it by two. Serve from Watkins, played up, set in the middle to the right side. Woods with the attack. Something called it, maybe net. I'm not sure what they called. That'll be a side out, but Woods with a great attack for the Lady Patriots. They get the point nonetheless. Eight to five now on the side out. And here comes Madeline Parsons. A little floater over the net. The Lady Eagles save it and play on. Diaz with the ball, gets it up. And now the play over for the Eagles. They get it. They'll go to attack. Right side, Forrest. But the ball blocked down back on the Lady Eagles side as Reagan Forrest tried to make the attack. Nine to five now. And now they're gonna call number seven. Irizarry in the net, so it'll be a side out back to Georgetown. Nine to six, the Eagles lead it, or the Lady Patriots lead it. Correction, and I'm, they, this is why we love the textures. Kristen Maldonado, now the libero for the Lady Patriots. She plays the ball up. The attack, what a kill there by K Kayla White from the left side off of one of the Lady Eagles out for the point. 10 to 6 now, the Lady Eagles lead it, or Lady Patriots lead it. What a kill by there, there by White. Serve in, nice and short. The Lady Eagles make a nice play, saved up. Now the Patriots get it back over. Free ball to the Lady Eagles from the left side, number nine with the attack. Dug up, now to the right side. Our left side, Eagles block that attack. Now to the middle, Eagles dig it up. They'll play it up. From the back row is Watkins, it's out. Nice play there, back and forth between both teams. Some crucial plays and digs. What a job there by both teams. And that's gonna call it, draw a timeout. From Coach Jenny Richardson of the Lady Eagles, 11-6, a five-point lead here in set number three for the Lady Patriots. Well, let's go ahead and thank some more of our sponsors. Wally here for Eastview Lady Patriot Volleyball, Allied Electric Services Incorporated, American Irrigation Repair, Auntie Anne's Pretzels, Austin Fire Protection, BBVA Compass Bank, Capstone Works, Syntex Shirt and Embroidery, Georgetown Pediatric Dentistry, GTX Sports Recovery, Hula Cowgirls, saved ice, Shaved Ice, John F. Lewis, PC, Kanga Roofing, Paul Berg, and Amy Friggle, s &R Roofing, Texas Crushed Stone, and the Burnett family. Thank you for your generous support this season of Lady Patriot Volleyball. What a run here early on, but some changes made there. Now hard to see that, that blue jersey getting changed. Diaz comes out of the libero roll. K, uh, Kristen Maldonado into the libero row. So you'll see uh, Maldonado in the game quite a bit more now on the back row for the Lady Patriots. Number three with the Navy jersey on now here in this third set. We come back after the timeout from Coach Jenny Richardson of Georgetown. Kayla White serves it off the net. Wow, what a bounce played up by the Lady Eagles. Left side attack blocked, dug up there. Here come the Lady Patriots, but the miss hit off of Parsons into the net. We'll get a side out over to the Lady Eagles. Got the lead to four. Seven serving 11. The Lady Eagles trail by four here in the third set. The serve floats over. Flora serves it over. Dug up, left side, attack. Wood tips it over, and what a play there. I believe it was Wood. Nope, let's give it back. I want to correct that. Ellswick with the nice tip. I thought I saw eight. <laughs> Jerseys run together, these girls jumping around. What a play there by Ellswick. Side out back to the Lady Patriots. Maldonado with the serve, up by five, 12 to seven. A little floater, played up. 
And the ball played over by the Patriots. Great play there. Here come the Lady Eagles. Barker tries to kill it, and it's dug up by Maldonado. The ball batted around. Free ball set over to the Lady Patriots. Kanza sends it deep, but it's just outside the line. A nice hit there by Kanza, but just a little bit long. Side out back over to the Lady Eagles. Eight serving 12. The Lady Eagles trail by four. Number nine, Claire Mitchell in the ball game for the Lady Eagles. She'll serve here. The ball goes in, dug up, and a free ball set over by the Lady Patriots. Here come the Lady Eagles. Barker with the attack. Off the block, but they're going to call Kanza in the net. So the point goes to Georgetown. They're going to cut the lead to three now. Claire Mitchell with the serve. Nine serving 12. The Lady Eagles down by three. Set up. And now from the right side is the attack by Ellswick. Dug up by the Lady Eagles. Now Watkins attacks. Dug up by the Patriots. And here comes the Lady Patriots. A serve attack over. Dug up by Ross. Right side, Barker. And she's going to smash it across. What a kill by Lily Barker. The Lady Eagles. Coach Richardson trying to get the Lady Eagles pumped up. What a kill as she sent it cross court just inside the sideline for the point. 10 to 12 now. Lady Eagles trail by two. Kayla White comes over to talk to the referee. And now back on the court. Claire Mitchell ready to serve again for the Lady Eagles. Floats one over. Played up. And the ball played over by Mary Brown. Dug up by Ross. Not going to be a block. That's in the net. The attack didn't get over the net by Watkins. And so the side out back to the Lady Patriots. Here comes Woods off the bench, replacing Madeline Parsons. Woods back to the front row to join Kanza and Ells Ellswick. Back in the back row will be Mary Brown to serve. A rocket over the net. What a play by Mitchell to dig it. Barker goes for the kill. Dug up. And now the right side, Woods tips it over. What a spot there by Eli Woods. She puts it in, perfect spot, just short of the 10-foot line. And a four-point lead now for the Lady Patriots. Now we'll have a quick timeout here. Anytime someone lays out on the floor, hey, grab the towel, make sure it's dried up. Safety precautions in place. 14 to 10 here in third, the third set. Lady Patriots lead it by four, but they trail two sets to none in the match. Mary Brown back to serve for the Lady Patriots. Leading by four from the middle. She floats it over, but it's gonna be off the net. A service error tried to put it right over the net. Nice attempt, but it comes up short there. Sarah Guzman now in for the Lady Eagles. She goes to the back to serve as number three, Brielle Maxwell, comes in for the Lady Eagles as well. Ball played by Maxwell. Brown digs it. Kanza hits it, but into the net. Not given the block. So the hitting error there on the Lady Patriots. Cuts the lead to two now as the Eagles have it. 12 to 14. Serving by Guzman, sends it in, Maldonado plays it up to Brown, far side, Wood tips it over in the middle, scramble for it, the Eagles send it over, Brown tips it to Kanza, nice play over, dug up by Barker, Watkins plays it over, dug up by the Patriots, Brown sends it far side, the ball played, but the block, not gonna give it the block, off the net and not over, so the ball back to the Lady Eagles and a one point deficit, 13 for the Eagles, 14 for the Lady Patriots. Lady Eagles serve the ball. Guzman again. Maldonado passes up front row. Conza with a kill. And can't tell if they called the block or back down. But that's going to even up the score and draw a timeout from Coach Emily Durrell as the Lady Eagles have battled back into this third set, 14 to 14. What a battle going on here. Let's take a quick timeout. Be back with the rest of the third set here on SHN Sports.
Welcome back to SHN Sports coverage of Lady Patriot Volleyball. Coach Durrell of the Eastview Patriots calls the timeout with the score 14-14. The last timeout taken was by Georgetown at 11-6. The Eagles trailed by five, and now they've evened it up at 14 apiece here in the third set. Crucial time for the Lady Patriots as they find themselves down two sets to none. Guzman sets up to serve for the Lady Eagles. Across, Maldonado passes it up. Far to the left side. Woods, what the kill! Eli Woods driving it down to the right side, just short of the 10-foot line for the kill. Side out to the Lady Patriots. 15-14, they lead by one as Ellswick goes back to serve for the Lady Patriots. Serve deep. Played up by Watkins. She'll get the set, the attack. Gets it past Ellswick for the point. Side out to the Lady Eagles. It ties the ball game back up at 15 as Diaz checks in on the back row for the Lady Eagles, replacing Ellswick. Miss Lily Barker back to serve for the Lady Eagles. 15-15 here in set number three. Serve over. Lady Patriots play it. Maldonado tries to hit it over, but into the net for the error. That'll give Georgetown the point and a one-point lead here in the third set. Lady Georgetown, the <laughs> Georgetown Lady Eagles lead it 16 to 15. Here in set number three, Coach Richardson gives the signals to Barker. She serves. The ball sent deep to Diaz. Brown sets it right side. Woods off the block, out of bounds. Great kill there by El Eli Wood. Woods, plural. I apologize. 16-16, great job by Woods there. Off the block, out of bounds. Side out back to the Lady Patriots. Kanza back to serve, 16 apiece. Here in set number three, Kanza serves it. Middle of the court, dug up, played back over. Lady Patriots will have a chance here as they do. But Irizarry, the lefty, hits it deep outside. Too long, and that'll send it back over. Side out to the Lady Eagles. They serve now with the one-point lead. Watkins with the serve, 17-16. Lady Eagles lead it. Played up by Maldonado to Brown. The set to the left side and the kill. Or the attack blocked. Back to the Patriots. She'll go again. That tip at this time. The double block went up early. And Kayla White with the tip just over the block. And in for the point. That'll even the score back 17 apiece here in the third set. Madeline Parsons in for the service. And the service error into the net. That'll give the ball back over to the Lady Eagles. Ross, the libero, serves with a one-point lead here in set number three, 18-17. Ross sends it off the net, barely saved there, but they can't get it up off of the, the, the tip there as uh, Parsons dove forward. That ball just off the net kills so much momentum of it, and the Patriots unable to get the ball back into play. 19-17, Lady Eagles by two. Ross serves it. And another whistle out of rotation. The up ref calls it on the Lady Patriots, and that's going to draw a timeout from Coach Durrell. 20 to 17 now. The Lady Eagles lead set number three by three. Quick timeout back for the remainder of set number three here on SHN Sports. Welcome back to the third set here of Lady Patriot Volleyball on SHN Sports. The Lady Eagles lead it by three as Ross the libero puts it into play. The Patriots pass it, and here comes the attack. Tipped over, Lily Barker with the dig for the Eagles. Back row attack off the net. Nice dig by Diaz. She'll play it over the net off the block, and it's going to be on the floor as Ross couldn't dig it up off the tip. And side out back to the Lady Patriots. They'll cut the lead to two now, 18 to 12. 
or 18 to 20 as the Lady Patriots get the ball back. Kayla White back to serve for the Lady Patriots. She'll float it over the net, dug up by Ross. The tip by Flora over, Patriots ready. It'll be an attack by Ellswick, but into the net. And the side out back over to the Lady Eagles. 21-18, the Lady Eagles by three. They lead it two sets to none. We're in set number three as the serve comes from the Lady Eagles. Flora sends it into play. And a quick tip there by Brown, dug up. Back into play, Lily Parker from the right side with the kill off of Parsons. And a four point lead now for the Lady Eagles, 22-18. Annika Flores back for the serve for the Lady Eagles. She'll send it into play from the middle of the court. Pass up to the front row, back row attack by Kayla White. Floats it over to the middle of the court, played up. Now Lily Barker for the attack, off the block. Dug up by Maldonado. Left side, Ellswick, she'll put it in, off a couple of Eagles. A nice dig up, Barker saves it. Here come the Patriots. Back out to the left side, Ellswick hits it. It's called out long. That was a close one there. Ellswick sent it to the back corner, but out nonetheless. Five point lead now for the Lady Eagles, 23 to 18 as Annika Flora sends the ball back into play. Maldonado passes up to Brown, far side to Ellswick. She'll tip it over, dug up by Flora. Here comes Barker, right side attack, and into the middle. What a cut shot there as Maldonado drives back to her left, dives back to her left, unable to reach the ball. The kill for Barker, and now set and match point for the Lady Eagles. They lead it 24 to 18 here in set number three. Annika Flores. Flora back in the middle, floats it over deep. Maldonado plays it up to Brown. To the left side to Ellswick. She'll tip it over. Dug up by the Lady Eagles. Good job by Ellswick there. The ball played up kind of in that free range area above the net. Ellswick goes and gets it and knocks it down. And the point side out back to the Lady Patriots. Maldonado serves down by five, floats one deep. Ross up for the Lady Eagles. Left side, Barker kill. Our attack, but it's out and long. Hitting error for Barker, and that's going to draw, draw another timeout from Coach Jenny Richardson and the Lady Eagles, 24-20. to 20. Lady Eagles sitting on set and match point, but can't put it away yet as the Lady Patriots continue to fight. Coach Durrell talking to the Lady Patriots. you got to love it. You see one huddle. Arms around each other, kind of huddled in together. One huddled, spaced out uh, with the given circumstances uh, of the pandemic we currently find ourselves in. UIL with so many rules. And so we sit and enjoy the opportunity to showcase these student athletes here on SHN Sports. So much going on tonight on a Friday night with volleyball, football all over the network. And uh, glad you could join us here tonight. It's the first night here on Lady Patriot Volleyball. We'll work it out, some of the kinks and the calls and and bear with us, but we'll be here for the remainder of the season to bring you all the Lady Patriot volleyball action. Maldonado serves from the back row, down to by four. Lady Georgetown Eagles battle. Lady, oh, Lily Parker with the kill. What an attack there, the kill. Puts it off of Maldonado out of bounds, and that's gonna be the game set and match for the Lady Eagles. Three to nothing. They win it 25-20 here in set number three. What a match by, I tell you what, the name that just sticks out, I, I don't know if I've said it enough, but I'll not forget tonight. Number seven, Lily Barker. What a match for the Lady Eagles and Lily Barker. I tell you what, the senior hitter, the right side of uh, hitter for the Lady Eagles, she led that team tonight, Rob. What a performance there. A couple of errors early on hitting there in the first set, but when she got warmed up and into her rhythm, she let it fly and did a, a good job for the Lady Eagles tonight. Well, Wally, been a fun one here. The first one of many here on SHN for Eastview Lady Patriots. Um, you'll be on the call again tomorrow, and I've enjoyed sitting with you here on this first one. I had an opportunity to head over here as we had a, our game in Huntsville on Thursday for football and uh, just want to be back in my hometown, man. And, and Wally, appreciate all that you're doing. A special thank you again to the Lady Patriot volleyball booster club for allowing us to be here this season and to help to bring some exposure to these young ladies man and to, and to broadcast this game 
been a fun one here tonight, Wally, and two more tomorrow. Two what, more. 11 a.m. and 2 p.m.? 11 a.m., 2 p.m., uh, Leander and Rouse. A matinee, if you come will. Come in. I, I tell you what, <laughs> it's perfect timing, though. Get to get out at 9 a.m., see my grandson at T-ball, come straight to the gymnasium and enjoy some Lady Patriot volleyball here. Leander comes in, Rouse come in for a doubleheader tomorrow for the Lady Patriots, and so not much rest for the weary. You turn around tonight, tough match here, a crosstown rival to Georgetown in the Battle of the San Gabriel, as we like to call it here at SHN. Uh, but you got to turn around, get, let, get that off your mind, and come back and play volleyball tomorrow. Absolutely, man. Well, it's been a fun one here tonight. Uh, it, you know, unfortunate for the Lady Patriots, but they'll pick it up and, and try to get back on the winning track here coming up tomorrow, man. I'm, I'm excited. I, I may not be here with you, so it may be you rolling solo, Wally, but uh, I've enjoyed sitting with you, man. I appreciate you being here tonight, Rob. Thanks, everyone, for listening. We'll continue to get better uh, uh, for you guys as we go through the rest of the season, but excited for the opportunity to be here to call and showcase these uh, high school athletes as they put their best effort in the classroom and on the court uh, for your viewing pleasure. Thanks tonight for joining us here on Lady Patriot Volleyball. Eastview falls to the Lady George, uh, Lady Eagles of Georgetown, three sets to none. We'll be back tomorrow for more Lady Patriot Volleyball on SHN Sports.